What is up, guys? Good morning. It, it's Josh with JF Trading. Um, haven't been putting out videos in a, in a little bit. It's been a little while. Um, wanted to uh, take some time off, you know, focus on my trading, focus on some work. Um, got a good footing in. Wanted to come back and uh, show you a pretty cool layout that I've been working on with my interactive broker setup. Uh, I'm going to run you through this, kind of the logic behind uh, why, why I have everything where it is. Um, if you can see, this is um, this is all my positions up here. This is you know my account information, P and L, yada yada yada. Um, obviously, account numbers and all that stuff are hidden because I don't want you guys to hack a shit. But um, that's without uh, that's without being said. That's without being spoken. Um, a little hungover this morning, drinking some coffee, but I wanted to put out a video. So if you look up here, I like to keep track of uh, the daily charts, obviously. You have a lot of flexibility uh, with this window here. Uh, you can open up to weekly charts. You can go out to monthly charts. Uh, recently, I've been trading some Mankind. Uh, well, not necessarily trading. I've been trading the options. I haven't really been trading stock. Um, I definitely think the stock is uh, not necessarily... Uh, primed to, to run higher, but it's definitely primed for some volatility. Um, if you can see, I mean, just it's trading upwards of 100 million shares. That's ridiculous. So that's uh, pretty crazy. You can get some pretty outstanding 100% moves. So it's something to keep an eye on for sure. Uh, but it is interesting to see that we've popped through the moving averages. That's basically the only indicator I use. I'm really only a price and volume trader. Uh, I don't necessarily even believe that there is such thing as a indicator that works because they're all just functions of price and volume and different calculations of those two dependent variables. Um, so it's just it's just personal preference. I like to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I really just like to find pockets of volatility like this um, where you know you're trading flat, 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 and then boom, you're like the fourth most traded stock on the day with I don't know how many hundred million shares, 150 million shares traded. So that's pretty impressive, but uh, I digress. Uh, you can see that we tested. It's pretty interesting to see how we tested this. I think this is the 100 day. Let me check. Yeah, that's the 100. So it's interesting to see that we've tested that 100 and we're just like, nope, coming right back down. So the regression models that I'm sure a lot of the algos are running uh, brought it back. Uh, and this also has a lot of, this is very news driven. So you got to be careful with some gap risk. And it's also why I like to trade options. Um, but yeah, so this is the daily chart, weekly chart, whatever you'd like. Uh, all the options are up here. Um, if you want to come in and add studies, you can go to, or rather, if you want to play with the chart settings, you can come into here. Uh, it gives you a lot of, lot of options. I highly suggest anyone getting familiar with interactive brokers to come in here. Um, this is your studies page, so you can come and really do whatever you'd like. Momentum, you know, AD, you can do the chanking. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this is where all your, this is where you're going to find all of your useless indicators, in my opinion. Uh, but nonetheless, there they are. You can add some secondary. You can add index comparisons as well. Um, I really love interactive brokers. It's very bare bones, and that's really, that's really what I love it for. Um, but if you can see here, this is where I have my, my order screen. So if you can see, I'll come in here, and I'll, I'll step in, and I'll buy, let's buy 10,000 shares of this, or rather 10,000 shares. Let's buy it at you know, the mid and, and 4, 4, 9. And make it a good to cancel order so it stays in my order page for a while. Uh, and then if you really get interested, if you really want to, if you wanted to attach a stop, attach a stop loss. Um, so let's say we're buying it at a 409. I want to put a stop for those uh, 10,000 shares at 309. So I'll risk a dollar. I'll risk $10,000 on this trade. Um, you can just click this button here. You could even route it to certain places. So if you wanted to catch max rebate, uh, you'd send it to Edge A or Edge X, even Dix. Uh, there are a couple of places that you can route to, uh, to to take some rebates because your your order is going to be sitting passive anyway. So it may as well make as much uh, you know may as well make as much money from that as possible. So let's just send this one to uh, I'll, I'll send this one to Edge A. Um, you can check the margin to see if it'll play with your account. This trade will obviously not. I don't. You know, I, I I'll probably be able to take this trade, but you can go save, and it, that'll well, let's go to live. Excuse me. That'll just populate right there, and it's not live. I saved it so I can. I have the opportunity of submitting it for a live transaction. But it is cool to see that you can go mankind, and then that's your automatic stop loss. So I'm risking a dollar on the trade here, and I'm picking up 10,000 shares. So if you come onto the chart too, you can see that you're going to be stepping in for a buy around market right there, and you're going to be risking that. So if you zoom out to like maybe a two-hour chart, you can probably see the difference there. Yeah, there you go. So buying that, risking that. So it's a dollar. 
interesting interesting concept something I wanted to show you um, I always have my my orders page right in the middle just so I always know what's going on I want to always make sure you you know you want to have a wrap of everything um, but I'm actually looking at my recording screen and you guys can't see all the way to the right over here so if I can push this this way yeah there we go so this is the, the, the extent of my, my radar here. So I, I like to watch the last, obviously, the changes, both, you know, fucking for points and percentage-wise. Uh, month to date's important. Volume, average volume, option trades, and trades. This is my favorite, uh, this is my favorite option that Interactive Brokers provides, period. Um, this, is very, this is very valuable information, too, that they just give you for free. So you should definitely keep an eye on this. Um, I like to know when algos are running. I like to know when uh, the, the HFTs are battling. Those are days I like to stay away. Um, that's basically the, the trade column that allows me to, to figure that out. 162,000 individual trades on the SPY on Friday. That's a, it's, you know, more of a, more of a middle of the road number, not too high, not too low. Um, you, with, with algos going crazy, you'll see, you'll see an excess of two, 300,000 trades sometimes. So stocks like Mu and Bank, you know, look at that, 117,000 individual trades. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot of action. Um, I don't like to trade those stocks, but I do. I do have some options in that. Um, so I have made some money in those stocks, but I don't like to. I don't like to. Oops, excuse me. I don't like to play with them. Where'd you go? Um, okay, so the, here is just also you know a little sidebar chart that I have for my futures. I, I've been trading a little bit of futures lately, so I've been keeping a track on gold. Um, there's been a really good call. A guy that I follow called Gold. Um, or rather silver, excuse me, I'll, I'll show you right here. He called the very, very bottom, pulled out right here. He called like the 36s and we could have gotten a full, you know, two points almost, or a point and a half rather. So that's a few grand, uh, multiple thousands, tens of thousands of dollars if, you, if you're positioned correctly. So let me, let me full screen this back in here. So uh, a lot of people also ask me how I find, uh, you know, movers and volatility. There, there's a, there are a number of websites. I could go through them all day and spend, you know, an hour talking about those. Um, but but I, I actually made a little little chart of my own or a little little scanner of my own. And it's all through interactive brokers and it's all totally possible. Uh, I like to scan for stocks that are uh, either app capped up on the day, gapped down. Um, you can sort them by volume as well. I don't know why it's not, but I usually like to put the volume greater. Well, this time it's 500K. So I'm definitely a little bit less, less less picky. Let's do a million. Let's just do a million because those are more. Those are those are the better stocks to trade. Let's let's play this one too. This is one of five hundred k. Yeah, let's go to a million. So if we take that to a million search, we can see all the stocks gapped down on the day that have traded at least a million shares. NCR is a stock that I used to trade when I was a day trader back in the day. And look at that. So we had a big down day in that big doji. So there's going to be, there's clearly some indecision, whether it comes tomorrow, whether it comes a week from now, we don't know. But you're, I, you're, you, you can be willing to bet, you, you can rest assured that volatility is coming because of the position of the stock. Long-term institutional investors are having to reevaluate their position significantly when things like this happen. And that's what you have to look for. You have to realize that it's not about you. It's about literally being the small fish in the pond, staying away from the big fish, not getting eaten. You got to follow the big fish. You got to see what they're doing. You got to make sure that you stay on the right side of them. You can't be short when they're getting long. That's how you get fucked. That's how you. That's how you short a stock and it gaps up five dollars. So you got to be very, very, very careful. Um, um, I digress. I keep ranting about uh, market principles. So I apologize. But yeah, so this is the scanners. They're all they're all attached to these charts here. Um, this is, uh, you know, just, just basic information for stocks, fundamentals, options, chains, uh, short borrow rates, price histories, all that stuff. Uh, if I can bring this into frame. Interactive Brokers really is cool. Whether or not this information is accurate, not entirely sure. I'm not a fundamental investor or trader, so this is basically completely useless for me. Um, but, you know, it's interesting that they have it here. A lot of, lot of extra information that they give you. Um, this, this video is running pretty long, though. I'm going to finish it here. I, I hope this helped someone. Um, if it did, great. Comment below. Like. Thanks. Um, if there are any suggestions for future videos, I would love some recommendations of what you guys like to see. Um, if anything, I'm, I might start running some tutorials of a couple other programs that I use, maybe Thinkorswim or Sterling Trader Pro or Ninja Trader. Uh, there are a couple other programs that I'm very proficient in that I, I think I could like throw some useful information your way. Um, so let me know, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching, though. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun jazz, and I will be back. Be good, guys.